I'm Katie from Bantu Media. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use WooCommerce to create a website for photographers to sell different photos to specific customers. There are lots of reasons that a photographer might want to sell their photos to specific customers while hiding those photos from the public. For example, if you're a wedding photographer, you might have covered somebody's wedding and after the wedding, you would want to upload all the wedding photos to your website in a secure area where only the couple and their guests from the wedding can see the photos and order online. You might uh, be a family photographer that have done a family group photo session and you want to upload that afterwards so that the family members and perhaps their extended families can log in, see the photos and order online, but you don't want the public to be able to see those parts of your site. You might be a corporate photographer and you've done a photo shoot of staff within a particular company and you might want to upload that so that they can order via your website. So there's lots of different reasons why photographers may not want their photos to be available in their online store for anybody to view and purchase. You might just want to sell them to specific customers who commissioned those photos. So that's why you might want to do it. Uh, to achieve this, we're going to use two plugins on it, which work on any WordPress website. We're going to use WooCommerce, which will power the online store side of things. And we're also going to use WooCommerce password protected categories, which is what will allow you to securely sell products to different customers. So let's get started. Here we've got a um, basic WordPress website. What I've done so far for this tutorial is install WooCommerce, add some products from a corporate photo shoot. And what I want to do is to password protect them within a specific category so that only people who should have access to these photos can view them and buy them. At the moment, you can see they're appearing on my main shop page, which we don't want because um, these are secure photos. So I'm gonna go to the WordPress admin and I'm going to show you. And by the way, what you just saw was just one of the default WordPress themes, but you can use this with any WordPress theme that supports WooCommerce. So in the admin, I'll go to the plugins page and show you the two plugins you need. You need WooCommerce, which is the e-commerce plugin um, that you use to add your products, add categories, um, create your cart, checkout, payment gateways. So WooCommerce is the e-commerce functionality. And WooCommerce Password Protected Categories is a WooCommerce extension plugin by us at Bantu Media. And that is what allows you to create private client only areas within a WooCommerce store. So once you've got those two plugins, you can follow these steps that I'm about to do in this tutorial. So we've installed WooCommerce, we've installed WooCommerce password protected categories. The next thing I want to do is create a login page. This is going to be a central page that all the photographer's clients can go to to log into their hidden categories where their specific products will be. So all we need to do is literally create a blank page in WordPress. So I went to pages, add new and call it what you want. I'm gonna call it client login. And you literally just publish this page. You don't need to do anything else because WooCommerce password protected categories will do the rest for you. So I've done that. Now I'm going to go to the plugin settings page. So that's WooCommerce settings. And I'm going to go to the products tab and you'll see a new link which is added by WooCommerce password protected categories, which is password protected categories. You need to enter your license key in order for the plugin to work. And once you've done that, there's a few simple settings which I'll just talk you through now. So category visibility, because you're a photographer and you only want your clients who have entered the password to see your hidden products, don't tick these boxes. These boxes will show your hidden products in the public areas of the site. So they'll be password protected, but anybody will be able to see the photos. Now, I highly doubt that a photographer would want that. So for example, if you've done a wedding photo um, for somebody, I don't think they're gonna want their wedding photos published to the world, even if people have to enter a password to buy them. So I leave, as a photographer, I'd suggest leaving those unticked. Um, you probably don't want to write protected before your protected category name, so just ignore that. And next we've got category login page. So all you need to do is select the page you just created. So I just created a blank page client login and the plugin will use that as my login page. And I'll show you how to link to that later in this tutorial. 
this message, um, you can enter whatever you want that will appear above the password entry page on the login form. So I'm going to write, enter your password below to access your photos. But write whatever you want there. Submit, you can change the um, text that appears on the password um, login. I'll just change it to login, but it doesn't really matter. And, and there's a few other options as well um, that you probably look at the documentation for details when you get the plugin, but um, therefore, if you have any issues with the styling, which hopefully you shouldn't do because it's designed to work with any theme, but this is about the styling of your password entry page. And we click save changes. So the next thing I want to do is create categories for my clients. And we're going to do that in the product section of WordPress, which is just standard WooCommerce stuff. So we're going to go products, categories. And I'm going to add two categories. Um, one for, uh, So I'm going to basically show you how to create hidden categories for two different clients. So I'm going to write company one. Company one. And... The only thing that's different to normal WooCommerce categories is this visibility section. This is what's added by the WooCommerce Password Protected Categories plugin, and it allows you to set your categories as password protected, which is how we're going to restrict them so that only specific clients can view the photos within and buy them. So I'm gonna write company one as my password. You can also add multiple passwords. So if, for example, you'd done a corporate photo shoot and you wanted each staff member um, to have a different password for whatever reason. You could add lots of passwords or you know, different wedding guests or something could each have a password. So you can add and delete passwords as needed. So I'm gonna add new category and that will appear, should do in the list. Has it done it? I'll refresh my page, check it's created my category. Oh, there it is, yeah, it's alphabetical. So have got company one, I'm just gonna write company two to show you how you would create different categories for different clients. So as a photographer, over time, you're likely to end up with quite a lot of categories. That's absolutely fine. Uh, WordPress lets you, and WooCommerce let you have as many categories as you want. So each time you do some client-specific work, upload it to your website and do exactly what I'm doing now. It only takes a second to add them to your uh, website in a specific category. So that one is company two. So I've password protected my second one. And you can see in the visibility column that they are both password protected. If you wanted to, you could create more complex category structures. So if you had a regular customer for your photography who had multiple photo shoots with you over time, what you could do is create a main parent category for that client and password protect it. And you could add as many subcategories as you wanted. And if you leave the subcategories as public, they will automatically be protected with the same password as the parent category. So all you do is select the parent category as the parent when you create subcategories, leave it as public, and you can um, do that for every single photo shoot that you do for that client. So it structures it really nicely for them um, so that they can instantly find the photo shoot they want, but they only need to enter the password once. And wherever they enter your um, protected category, whether it's on a specific product page, a subcategory or the main parent category, they will always be asked to enter the same password. And once they've entered it, they will never have to enter that password again, at least for the next few days until the cookie expires, because that's how the plugin works. When someone enters a password, it sets a cookie in their browser so that they don't have to log in again straight away, but they will do after that cookie expires. So we've created two password protected categories for two different companies who might be your photography clients. And now we're going to put the products within those categories. So go to the WooCommerce, no, sorry, go to the products page. And I've already added 10 products for um, my corporate photo shoot. So these are the 10 products I want to categorize. So if you haven't created your product yet, just add product and add them to the relevant category. Or if you have, then just use quick edit and select a category. So I'm just gonna quickly go through that. So I'm just hovering over each one, quick edit, and add it to a category. So it's not gonna take long, because it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna do that for all 10 and show you five in each password protected category. 
So that's all the ones I want to put in my first category. And next I'm going to put the rest in company two. And you can do this while you're creating the product on the single product um, edit page. You don't have to do it on the list here. So same as adding any WooCommerce product to a category, really. And finally, put that one in company two. Right, so we have categorized our products and put them within password protected categories. I'll just show you the homepage now. Um, now you can see that the, do you remember previously my corporate photos of the, the headshots of people were appearing on the public shop? Now I've only got my public products that are not within password protected categories. So we can immediately see that the plugin is working correctly. We also have a categories widget, which is not showing my password protected categories. Um, that's because of the settings that we chose earlier on the settings page. So the plugin is correctly hiding our private pa password protected content from public view. And as a photographer, you may want to sell some photos to the public, um, just like with I've, I've got a public shop here within WooCommerce, or you may only want your client specific categories, in which case you don't have to show any public products on the public parts of your website. You might just have your standard pages like home, services, contacts, your shop could be completely hidden. Um, and you might just want to link to the client login page, which I'll show you how to do next. So we have categorized our um, plug products here. They're all within a password protected category. So the next thing we want to do is add a link to the menu to allow people to log in. So we go to appearance menus. And what I'm going to do is find my client login page and add it to the menu. And I'm going to save the menu and I'm going to refresh the page. So it's home about, and now I've added client login. So let's click on that now. Okay, so here we've got the password login page. This is the text that you entered on the settings page. This is the title of the page from when you created it. And this is the button text which you enter on the settings page. The styling of this page will be the same as the um, password protected pages feature that comes within WordPress itself, which your theme should have styling for. If it doesn't look right, go back to the plugin settings page and try a few of the other options. Um, and if it really isn't right, you may need to get your theme author to fix that um, because probably they've forgotten to style the password protected page um, template within WordPress, which all themes should have. Um, so this is a standard category login page. So the way it works is that whichever password your photography clients enter here, it will automatically direct them to the correct hidden category. So I'm going to write company one, because you know I've got two companies um, and the password for one is company one, the password for the other is company two. And I'm gonna log in. And you can see that this has unlocked my password protected category and sent me to the uh, place, the category page, which has the five products, which are in the category for company one. If I had entered the other password, which was company two, it would be showing me five different products. So you can see how it works for your photography client. They enter a single login um, password on the client login page. And I'm gonna go to company two now. And so you type in a different password and depending on what you enter, you see it takes you to the different category for that client. So it's a really nice and easy way to password protect categories within WooCommerce for your photography clients so that each client has access to their own photos that nobody else can see. And once you've accessed your category, you can add to cart, you can view cart, you can um, check out, you can buy online, you can do all the usual WooCommerce stuff, but only the customers with access to these products will be able to buy those photos from you. And once you've done that, all you need to do is tell the password to your customers. So 
Uh, once you've done a photo shoot, maybe you'll send them a thank you email or you could even put it on the invoice or something like that. You'll just say to um, access your um, photos, what you need to do is go to our website and um, go to the client login link and just enter the password. So that's an easy way to give them the password. If you've done a wedding, then a good tip is to put the password for the wedding photos on the thank you cards to your wedding guests. And that's a really good way to increase the revenue because it would be brilliant if the wedding guests also bought the photos, not just the bride and groom and their immediate family. So have a think about all the different people that you might want to access those restricted photos and, um, think, and give them all the password. And you'll be safe in the knowledge that nobody else uh, can see those products, just the people that have that password. So I hope that was useful to you. You can get WooCommerce password protected categories from our website, barn2.co.uk, and um, it comes with full documentation and support from us at Barn2 Media. So get in touch if you need any help getting it set up for you. I hope that was useful.